to NAIA fourth seeded Gray Wolves meet the fifth seeded Rochester in the quarterfinals of the WAC tournament. Early action, Lords turning defense into offense. Brett Loft gets his hand in the passing lane, strong to the bucket. Lords up early. Loft with a hot hand in the first half. They give it right back to him. Let's the triple fly. He connects. Gray Wolves would head into the half up 23. In the second half, they pick up where they left off. Joey Hollyfield step back three. He finishes the night with 16 points. And then in the fourth, the give is going to go to McCray White. Finds some space for the score. Lords goes on to get the win 79 to 59. They advance and will take on top seeded Indiana Tech on Saturday. Yeah, effort and toughness. That's the two things we've been preaching all week, and that's going to carry over um, to Saturday. In our first two matchups with Tech, um, we won there and they beat us here. It's really very similar to how this went. It's an extremely tough game, and uh, hopefully we come out and swing first and uh, just kind of go from there. Let's send it back out to the duo that called this one, Mason Lowry and Brandon Bosch. Well, after Lords lost on Saturday by 20 up at Cornerstone, Dennis Hobson said, his team didn't do two things. They didn't defend and they didn't play with energy. And neither of those things were an issue in the first half here tonight. No, not at all. It was the exact opposite. You saw a team that was desperate to get a win. A team that had won 13 games in a row earlier this year had struggled a little bit down the stretch. However, you see what they're capable of when they're really clicking on all cylinders. And they were tonight. And Rochester's were the victim of that. Yeah, great scoring balance from the Gray Wolves tonight. Four guys in double figures. But we have to give it up to Brett Loft because coming off the bench midway through the first half, he really kind of set the tone and allowed the Grey Wolves to open up some real separation. Absolutely, and I think when you have somebody who's played at a high level like he has coming from Grand Valley State, he comes off the bench here for Lords. It says something about his character beyond him as a player that he's able to accept that role, come off the bench, bring the energy, and you see he really takes pride in what he does on both ends of the floor. Had a great night tonight, a really good first half, but continued to play well in the second half when Lords had a little bit of foul trouble, got a little iffy there. He Really settled them down, got them going again. An overall great game. Lords advances to play at least one more game. They get their 22nd win of the season, which matches their program record. They move on to Saturday's WAC semifinal. I imagine feeling pretty darn good after a big win tonight over Rochester.